Bread rolls, normally a very forgettable part of any meal. Here's a way to make them unforgettable. Hey everybody, my dinner roll feels like it's a little undercooked. Let me do the bounce test. Everyone's like, the bounce test? Yeah, the bounce test. You just take it and you, you bounce it. <laughs> now everyone's perked up. Doesn't taste any better, but it feels like it tastes better. How do you do this? Stupid party trick? Well, it looks even stupider from the side. So I'll show you. You're not actually bouncing a bread roll. You're doing a series of synchronized actions to create the illusion of bouncing a bread roll. And those synchronized actions are this. Hello, side shot. What you want people to think is, of course, you're doing what you would do if you bounced a ball, which is throw it, gadung, and it bounces up. What you're actually doing is hitting my leg here, which stops my hand, creates a little bit of a little snap inertia flip back, and uh, I go down and I let my hand just get snapped back. So you time the, uh, the tap of your foot with when the bread roll would hit the ground. I just use my leg as the timing cue. It will surely impress everyone at the table except for the people sitting right next to you. Don't have to just use a bread roll, by the way. You could use an apple, you could use a bottle, you could use an iPhone, you could use a tennis ball, but I don't recommend it because tennis balls already bounce.